The stunning Le Maire Channel was named after Charles Le Maire, a Belgian explorer. It was first traversed in 1898 by a German expedition. Next stop in Antarctica was landing at Half Moon Bay. When we did our landing, however, it was minus 15 degrees, snowstorms and strong wind everywhere. Half Moon Bay is the home of the Argentine Antarctic station Teniente Camara, which only opens during summer months. It has an impressive chinstrap penguin rookery. Let my soul fly free. From land and the snowstorm we saw nature at its wildest and best. We also saw a pod of 17 killer whales go over to an iceberg and tip the whole thing over just to knock a seal in the water and eat it. The circle of life and the nature of the violence in the animal world is never more present than down in Antarctica. Playful penguins porpoising out of the water trying to escape a seal trying to capture one for its afternoon meal.
Our next stop was our southernmost point inside the Antarctic Circle where the icebreaker had to come to a stop. We held an outdoor barbecue in minus 8 degrees. The only barbecue where the beer gets colder the longer you sit there. Now that's a barbecue. Here we are at our southernmost point in the Antarctic Circle and we're going to have to turn around and uh, go back I'm afraid. This is as far as we go. The saddest part of the journey is always the journey home from the greatest place on earth. So I'll stop talking and just let you see the images for yourself. What can I tell you except to say that this is the most incredible place on earth. Check it out for yourself. So make sure you take the time to get up off your backside, get an airline ticket and get out there and see the world because this is the only life you get and it's an awesome planet. So come on, thank you for watching and let's see you next time on Jason's Journey.